We're going to be doing stuff from the period that's identified in Miles. You know, with Miles Davis, you got to be very selective when you're talking about him in the years and the stage and so forth, like Coltrane, like Wayne Shorter, like Duke Ellington, guys who had long careers and always kept changing. In Miles' case, you know, acoustic jazz, and then when he started the electric thing in most uh, well-known silent way and Bitches Brew, of course, it was really like a revolution. Not welcomed by the purists, but of course the young people really identified with it. And Miles got another life out of that. In this particular period, when I was with him from 73 into 74, it was known as the On the Corner, named after that pretty important record as it has become known. We took a couple of tunes from there and I've arranged them for the band. Titles are not important and they were not really important to Miles because he never had titles. The titles were given afterwards when they put the records together. And I said, I said you know what they called that tune? He said, no, I don't care either. But we will begin just as a kind of benediction with Joe's silent way.
once again on the guitar, James De Silva. James De Silva. Back here, the funkiest man on the planet, Victor Wooten on the bass. To my right, your left, sometimes he's in front of you. On the keyboards, Mr. Chris Walters. Chris Walters. Back in here, the man with the deepest pocket in the universe. On the drums, Mr. Chester Thompson. Chester Thompson. And one more time, I can't believe he's here on stage. I can't believe I get a chance to play with this man. He's a living legend. He's truly a living legend. Give him some love, Mr. David Liebman. David Liebman. Mr. Jeff Coffin, please. Jeff Coffin.
thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Chris Walters, James De Silva, Chester Thompson, Victor Wooten, Jeff Coffin, one and only David Liebman. Thank you very much. Good night. <laughs>